What have you found out? What's the message here? It's all about comprehensive immigration reform, Betty. It's uh, clear that in his only public appearance yesterday, he made it very clear. It was an interview with The Atlantic. That's why he made this visit. It's his first visit to the Capitol in three years. He says it is a huge issue for the country and his industry. Take a listen. This isn't a matter of trying to um, hire people instead of Americans who are doing this. We'll hire all of them, right? It's, um, it's, the, the issue is that there aren't enough talented people we can bring into the country. Um, and that, that is a real issue that, that people feel. So that's his focus in lobbying lawmakers. He did have some meetings yesterday, but he's got a long list today, starting with Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid this morning. We know that he met with Senator Chuck Schumer of New York yesterday. Immigration was front and center in that meeting. Schumer thanked him for his work in pushing the Senate to pass something. They both expressed optimism about the issue in the House. Zuckerberg was actually asked in the Atlantic event, out of all of the visits that he has planned on this trip, who was he most excited to meet? And he said, House members. So, Betty, clearly a recognition that that's the chamber where there's a lot of work to do. There's no proposal right now for comprehensive reform. But other topics are going to be coming up in these meetings as well, including NSA surveillance, privacy. He's also going to be meeting with Commerce Chairman Jay Rockefeller, who takes a lead role on those issues. So they're going to be covering a lot of ground. Betty. Megan, let's talk about that surveillance program, because Zuckerberg really came down hard on the government for that. I mean, how is that going to play in Washington? Yeah, so last week he now famously said the government blew it. So in the interview yesterday, he was a lot softer in what, what he said about that. He was asked specifically about the government's program, not about the government's PR and their response. And he said he, he really didn't know the entirety of the program. But as far as Facebook is concerned, he said sometimes the government does make requests that he sees as overly broad. And he said, quote, we push back. Um, but that was really as far as, he, as he'd go. His real push there is transparency from the government. You know, Facebook is suing the government as well on that issue.